Greetings everybody, this is Paul the Inventory King. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day and enjoying your fish. If you guys could click the subscribe button and that notification bell, I would be honored for you guys to join me on my fish keeping adventures. So today, we have an amazing unboxing video. This is awesome. It does have to do with the saltwater reef tank I'm setting up. This sump was sent to me by Pro Clear Aquatics. That's Pro Clear Aquatics. I'll have a link in the description. They sent me this sump to unbox and review. This thing is amazing. Let's unbox it and let's take a look at it. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed here. Again, this sump is from Pro Clear Aquatics. They have got an amazing line of sumps. These things look absolutely amazing. So as you can see, packed beautifully. They got it here in a box with the room on the sides. They got the foam inserts here to hold it in place. This thing is not going anywhere. Awesome. So we need to pull this out to get a better look at it. So just by looking at this thing, it is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous sump. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a deep dive, take a look at all the features that this thing has. So let's rock and roll. All right, so let's go ahead and get the saran wrap off of the sump. So this sump is the Red Flex 4-in-1 300. This sump is capable of filtering up to 300 gallons. Uh, this thing is a beast. Let's get a closer look. All right, so here we are with a up close and personal look at the ProClear Systems Red Flex. So as you can see, this thing is absolutely stunning. The craftsmanship on this thing is absolutely second to none. The ProClear Red Flex 4-in-1 300 sump. Okay, so here we are at the first part of the sump. We got the inlet where the water comes in from the tank, comes down, and you're gonna have a PVC pipe that goes in here, and it comes into this little chamber, and the PVC comes down, and what this does is this helps silence the water. This is an absolutely amazing thing that ProClear did. And then obviously it overflows over, back up and over here and into the filter socks. So this sump has three filter socks. And uh, as you can see, this thing is gonna filter the tank like a champ. Now down over here in this corner, looks to be a holder for your heater. That's pretty cool. So you got your heater down in there, it's out of the way, it looks nice and clean, that's pretty sweet. Chamber one is where you're gonna have your protein skimmer. We'll get to this right here in just a second. Now there's two parts here, there's, there's this part here and then on the other side. This is a refugium. Now this could serve one of two purposes. You can have it set as a wet dry area, which is what this is for. Or you remove it and just pull it out. It's got tape right now, so I'm not gonna pull it all the way out. But you remove it and you got a perfect area for a refugium, for putting extra rock, putting a fish that's got picked on. This is really, really nice. So in order for the water to get into the refugium, it needs to come and it flows up over into this chamber over here. And then as it fills up, it comes through these holes and it comes and fills up the refugium and then it obviously comes back out and goes down here into a pad, which comes out on this side and here's where you got your return. Now you can adjust this with the, uh, this little screw here. You can adjust your height however you want the water to be flowing. So that's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be up to you 
up to your preference. And here, I'm kind of hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> so now we were talking about craftsmanship. Now this is absolutely amazing. This here, they made this for probes. So if you got electronic probes on something like the Neptune's Apex, you can go and put these probes in here. You twist this sucker, it locks the probe in place, and it's got an area for the cord to travel up so it stays nice and neat. I mean, to me, that is just absolutely awesome. Now this section is for dosing. So if you've got a dosing pump, uh, there are adapters that go here, which we'll show later, but you got your line that runs into here for dosing, comes down in through this little hole, and you got this thing dosing for you. I mean, this is just awesome. Super cool. Now you can see here on this other side, again, you got an area for cord to come up. Here's an area for the cord to come up, however you wanna organize it. That is one of the neatest things about this sump was just the craftsmanship. I mean, for having these extra little bits, these are perks that are just super, super, super awesome. I gotta say, this is one nice looking sump. So what we're gonna do is take a look at what is in this bubble wrap. So what you have here is a chemical media cartridge. This here allows for you to put chemical filtration into the sump if you would like. So check this out. You slide this out. It's got these little chambers in here. What you could do is, you know, you could pull these out if you don't want them in there, but it allows for you to put chemical filtration into these spots here. So how you put these in is you are gonna go into the sump here, and then you run it along the back, and it goes and it sits just like that. So what you do is you obviously take this apart here. I'm going to put the PVC pipe down into the chamber. Go ahead and put this in like so. This goes down into here and then you go ahead and tighten the bulkhead back up. So the bulkheads are in, and then again, you use this as a lid here to cover up where the water flows into the socks. Now you have two options. You can use the included flex hose. Obviously it would go on better than that. Or you can hard plumb it. It's gonna be up to you, but that is what's going on with that. We are at the return pump. There is this bracket that comes with it that goes like this and you got these two plastic screws. And you tighten them down and it allows for, you know, if you're gonna have hard plumbing, then it'll come out here, but if you have soft plumbing, you can always bring it up through here. It helps keep it in place so it's not flopping everywhere. And again, you got your cord for cord management right there. Keeps it nice and clean and tidy. Now the same goes for this one. And again, you just have that beautiful cord management. So things are not gonna be flopping back into the sump. They're gonna come up through here and they're gonna stay on the outside. It's gonna look beautiful and clean. All right, so this goes and sets here. And then we're gonna go ahead and run these on the top. There are four of them. Now these go onto the bottom, and this is like uh, the same kind of hosing you would have for an RODI. You push it in, it's good to go. So let's go ahead and attach these down here.
There we go. So we got the dosing adapters hooked up. So what's really cool is these go down in here like so. And they go in here. And then you just trim it to, you know, wherever. Uh, and, you know, depending on where your water level is, you know, you just trim it up about here and you're good to go. Now, how sweet is that? So you go, and again, you just trim it wherever you want. You know, the water level is going to be about here, give or take. And if you want it to come higher, you can. But, I mean, this is just awesome. You trim this up, like I said. Look at how organized it is. This thing is an absolute beast of a sump. So, again, this is the refugium area of the sump. And like I said, you can set this up to be a wet-dry system. But what this also is for, check this out. This is a frag rack. So you can go and have your frags on here. The, the refugium is going to be full. And you can have frag in here. Uh, so, I mean, look at that. Wet, dry, frag rack. This thing's got everything. All right, let's take this thing into the house. Here it is in the stand. Uh, I actually had to take the top off to get it in. I'm going to figure out a way to modify the front. Um, probably going to end up cutting this out and then getting uh, right angle brackets and reattaching it so that if I ever have to pull the sump out, all I need to do is I could just, you know, put a piece of two by four right here to help hold it up, take it out, pull the sump out, put it back up. So that's what I think the plan is going to be. But here it is. Here's that dosing system that we put in there. For There's the uh, area for the probes, cord management. Here's where the socks are. And then you can see that tube that the red PVC is in. That is their special silencer to help keep it nice and quiet. And uh, of course, and the heater goes there. This is where your skimmer is. And then you got the fuge right over here frag rack if you want chemical media chamber you got the foam there comes out there return go back up to the tank and some more cord management this thing is an absolute beast here's a top view you can see that this is just one awesome state-of-the-art sump and uh can't wait to get water in it and get this tank up and running but now I can go ahead and start designing the inside of the stand. This is gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So again, this is the ProClear Red Flex 4-in-1 series sump. I got the 300 for my tank. Now the wet dry kit and the chemical media cartridges, those are optional. So when you're gonna be purchasing one of these sumps, those are optional add-ons that uh, you would have to uh, add on to your purchase in order to get the full kit. So again, I want to say a humongous shout out to ProClear Aquatic Systems for sending out the Red Flex 4-in-1 sump for me to unbox and review, set it up and show you guys. This is quality craftsmanship, I have got to say. I am super impressed with the quality of the sump. And I can't wait to get it set up. So again, in the description down below, I'm going to have a link to ProClear's website for you guys to check out. Now, the Red Flex is a new sump series for them. Currently, it is not on their website, but some of their older models are, so you can still get an awesome idea of what you're going to be purchasing. So again, thank you to ProClear Aquatic Systems for sending this sump out to unbox, review, and set up. 
and being a part of my reef tank build. This sump is gonna be in so many videos, so you guys are all gonna to get to see how this thing works. I can't wait. This is Paul the Inventory King. Thank you so much for watching everybody. In the comments down below, what do you guys think of the sump? The add-on extras like the media cartridges and the wet dry kit, and the fact that it has probe holders and it's got dosing holders for dosing your tank. And again, this is a patent sump. They've got patents on this thing. They've got some super unique things. I can't wait to hear it running. Again, everybody, comment down below what did you think. If you could like the video, click the subscribe button. I would be honored if you guys can join me on my fish keeping adventures by subscribing. Thanks again. And stay tanked.